Hey guys, what's going on? I am the Freezing Canadian, and today I have my first armor kill video, and this is a firing guide to the mobile rocket artillery. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is recently added into Armored Kill, um, and it's very much a deadly, deadly weapon if you know how to do it. So I'm going to zoom in and freeze frame here. Now, from the top line to the bottom line, I will read you the distances uh -oh, and explain that in a second. So from the top, it goes 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 600. Now, to you, this may just look like a bunch of crap on your screen, but... In reality, whichever peg you put your target as, such as Bravo flag for me, which is about 300 meters away, I place it at about the third or the fourth peg down, which is around, roughly around 300 yards. So, using this, you can technically figure out how far away you want to bombard and place up a decisive firing position where you are in cover but you do have the ability to hit targets from up to or more than 600 meters away so this is very very useful and it's just amazing now I want you guys to know that these numbers are not exact this is from me play testing with it this game and the th it gets tricky because around the third or the fourth peg, it does seem to switch in a way. So the way I would look at it is you're not aiming at the top of the crosshair, but you are simply aiming at whichever peg you're using. So if you do use this or do try it out, I would like to know how it works for you. But once again, top to bottom, it goes 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and 600. And I want you guys all to know, again, that these numbers are not exact, but it is very gosh darn close. Now we move on to some clips of me actually getting kills and using this strategy to take out enemies on different flags. Now one pro tip for you guys is, you can see where your explosions are, either if they're close enough on the minimap or your large map. So PC players, when you do get this, you will have a great advantage when using this weapon due to the fact that you can see your explosions by zooming out your mini map. Now here I quickly hop out to get this one guy and that is the one thing you are a big sitting duck and you are ridiculously prone to damage. This weapon is not meant to be out on the front lines you are meant to sit in the back and fire death down on your opponents. Now why would I say death? Well you can see in this clip it takes one rocket to disable a TD or tank destroyer. Now, the MBT does have more uh, armor, so I'm not sure how it would affect that. But you can see from this clip and another clip coming up, it takes about two to three rockets to completely destroy a TD or MBT. Now, that is amazing and glorious. If you are up behind a rock or on a cliff, of some, a cliff face of some sort, you can literally destroy all incoming enemy armor if you know how to fire this weapon. This is a very strategic, very, very helpful tool on the battlefield. And if you are serious about armored kill, you should definitely learn how to use it. So again, you can see here that I'm adjusting my shots. I believe I'm about 100 yards away, or meters, whichever is the precise... I don't know, distance measurement in Battlefield. And as you can see, I am trying to adjust, but that is the one thing that is difficult about this weapon. You do not know uh, exactly how far away targets are, and you are very easily killed in most situations. And here's one last clip of me taking out a TV. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. I will have more armor kill content coming out for you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.